Hey gang, Dallas here from Private Jet Press. Today, we're gonna bring the rock and paint some stone. So let's get started. So I've base coated our Sentry Stone in a nice, pretty heavy coat, uh, Bastion Gray, just kind of dry brushed over top. And to get started on our stone, I'm gonna take some Troll Blood Highlight. And I'm gonna put a dry brush of that on our stone, and this will give it our highlight. This is just to pick out all the edges and all the details. You can see how that's coming together. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can even do a little stippling. This is called stippling. When you just kind of smash your brush in there and give it dots. Makes it look interesting. Makes it look more like stone. I'm being very, very light with my dry brush, as you can see. I'm just slowly building up. I don't want to rush it because it's very easy to overdo it and make it look dry and dusty and you'll get your paint all gunked up. Slow and easy, take your time. Nice, light, dry brush. And focus up on the top there because that's where light would catch on these lips. This technique could be used for stones you find on any of our models, like trolls or your circle army. There we go, got some highlight on there. For our next step, we're gonna take some iron hole gray and we're just gonna blend that into our shadows. We're just gonna put that in our shadows and use our second brush to start blending that out. So this just adds a little bit of that contrast in there. Troll Blood highlights warm and iron hole is very neutral. So it lets that, the warm tone of Troll Blood highlight kind of stand out a little bit more. All right, I'll put a little shadow down here. Just working very quickly. I like that gray. Looks really good against all this color of the Troll Blood highlight. It's just kind of up to you where you put your shadows. I'm going a little heavy on the shadow. That's all right. That's how I want to paint this guy, so that's how I'm going to paint this guy. Start down there and give it a little blend, and you do it on the underside there, like this. Give that a little blend. Get that nice rock look going on. Looks really nice. A lot of color happening for such a simple model. Sometimes I really like these like nice, kind of simple shape models. They're a lot of fun to paint. They're something different, unique. Spending a little time painting them, give them a lot of personality. Even though it's just a rock. For these complex shapes, instead of breaking apart the different elements, such as this trim and this decorative piece and the internal piece and this trim, I treated this whole area as one separate element or one plane. And so I shaded the entire thing from here to here and a little bit from here to here from the bottom up. And that way it made it way easier than breaking it apart and shading this and then thinking about shading this and then thinking about shading this. Just treat it all as one element, just shade it together and highlight it together. And for our deep shadows, I'm gonna go back to one of my favorite recipes, Battlefield Brown and Exile Blue. And these two mixed together make a really good color. Great for shading all kinds of things. I've used this on skin and leather. Really play with it, armor. And now we're gonna use it on some stones. It's kind of versatile. Can add more blue or more brown depending on your needs. For this, it's about 50-50. I'm gonna keep my blend brush handy just in case, but hopefully I won't be using it. I just want to take and put in some dark in the deepest crevices of our stone, and the undersides of things, and accentuate any little crack in the stone. Once again, this isn't about being perfect, just about having fun and painting some stones. And if you feel like it needs blend, go ahead and throw your little blend on there. Not everything needs to be blended. This is really just gonna accentuate the existing shapes of our stone. Once again, I'm gonna treat this whole area as one element very quickly and put in a very general shadow across the whole surface, just like so. Stretch it out with that blend. You can do this on each one of these surfaces. 
Start out with a broad, overarching shadow, and then work your way to a smaller shadow for individual parts. Makes painting these complex shapes much quicker. Don't forget all the little cracks. That's what makes it interesting. By changing this recipe, you could change it to Thamar black and a little coal black and some frostbite or underbelly and you could start painting your scorn immortals. And all kind of the same technique. So let's add a quick highlight to this. And for this, we're gonna take our troublet highlight, mix in some Mara white. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint just the edges of some of our stone. Primarily what I want so I like doing this. Underneath the cracks, putting in a little edge highlight right along the undersides of the cracks, right where light would catch. And just kind of accentuates those cracks, makes them look more three-dimensional. Just do the upper sides of these shapes. I'm not going to go up in here. The shadow is very heavy there, so I want to come down here, focus my highlight here. It makes it look more realistic. Look at that. Mm. And of course, the edge. You can just use the edge of your brush for that. Just like that, just a quick highlight. Really bring it up to the top here. Once again, these little shapes inside of here, just a nice line on the top edge of them. The undersides of cracks. Throw a little black on those gems and on the grass so it blocks that out. And let's see how our guy looks. And there you go. Our century stone is ready to rock the battlefield. Safe to say our century stone won't be crumbling anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links in the description below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 hobby line. Today we're gonna paint some things with some paint on the brush, put it in the thing, dip it on, put it on the miniature, rub it all about, make it a wall, splish, splish, splash. <laughs>